Alrighty folks, welcome back to KJ's Daily Journal where I ramble about being a small town pastor. Today we're going to try and get back to some sort of normal. It is Thursday, um, but it's been kind of a wild week. Yesterday was kind of a dud. Um, I didn't get much done, so I'm going to count that as a day off. This morning we got up, it was three degrees above zero. Zero, which uh, for my non-American people, uh, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but freezing for the United States or yeah, in Fahrenheit is 32 degrees. So we are well below that. So we are at zero degree. I do know that uh, 40 below zero is the same in Celsius as in Fahrenheit. That was for free. Um, so yeah, today the name of the game is to get back on track. Uh, I have uh, some schoolwork to get finished up. I have some things that I need to be working on. Uh, moving forward, I'm just going to have to plug along and one step in front of the other and just keep going until we get it done or the Lord takes me home. So with all that said, I got up this morning, it was three degrees above zero and I needed to restock our firewood so uh, went outside and did that got it all stocked up got a fire started and now it's time for running uh, i was talking to somebody the other day then said i just can't get up and run first thing in the morning or my i'm exhausted the rest of the day well for me if i don't run i feel like poo the rest of the day i just don't have any energy and don't want to do anything i just want to sit down and do nothing but once i run uh, it lubes up all the joints and uh, gets some energy flowing and I'm ready to hit the day. Today's going to be a long day in the office. At 4 o'clock I have a meeting on Zoom and I'm hoping it's going to be uh, less than an hour or two and then I'll get back to, to doing, I don't know, after that meeting I might be ready to come home. but. I have so much stuff to get done. Okay, let's run. Hey church, Pastor KJ here. Uh, sorry, it's a day late, but that kind of leads into what I'm talking about. Uh, today. I want to let you know uh, we missed you Sunday due to that storm and then uh, of course the power went out right as we were starting our service and so um, yeah that was interesting. Just did my midweek meditation for the church and uh, talked about how plans change and you got to be flexible because uh, ultimately we don't know what the rest of today holds. We don't know what tomorrow holds and I hope that's helpful for a lot of people. Uh, I know there's a lot of anxiety from lack of control and overthinking things. Uh, ultimately, God's got this, and it's. Uh, I think it's healthy to try and recognize that. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to get into some reading and try and get my schoolwork done. Um, I'm still making plans uh, and thoughts about what I'm going to do uh, once this is over. We're at day like 200 and, I mean, no, 325 or something like that. Um, so by the time December, about Christmas time, uh, rolls around, I should be at one year. And that will be a complete year of journals. Uh, yeah, and I think I'm going to keep, keep doing it. Um, I know I'm going to keep doing it but I'm not sure exactly how it's going to look. It's going to be a little bit different than right now. Um, I guess we'll see. Due to a rise in cases here in town, the school has moved everything off campus, which means there's no kids club for the boys, and that means I need to go get probably Jeremiah and bring him here to the church so that he can hang out here while I'm in my meeting and Elijah can stay at home with Sharon while she does her meeting. Uh, see, this is a tactical decision on my part. When the two boys are together, 
uh, boys tend to fight and wrestle and be loud. So if we divide them up and give them each a device, maybe, just maybe, we can both do our meetings without having to yell at anybody. Tactics. So I made it home. Sharon is still meeting. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. This is the life of a first responder. So KJ sat down to eat and the pager went off. So he's gone and his coffee and his dinner sit. Thank you.